Hello everyone, I am Ravi Kumar along with my group members Neha Durga and Vijay Shankar. Today we are representing Mexico. Mexico is just more than burrito and tortilla, however its food is its face in the world. We share our border with US in north and Pacific Ocean in south. We are the 30th largest state in the world with 2 million square kilometer area and about 129 million people. Our population density is about 66 per kilometer square. We are a young country with 50 percent of population below 30 years. The per capita GDP is about 9 to 9 US dollar and we fall under the middle income category by World Bank. Our primary sectors are agriculture, industry and service sector. But its service sector which provide livelihood to about 63 percent of people and add around 60 percent to GDP. Our HDI rank is 74 which is good as compared with the world but not good as compared to our neighbor US. So we aim to increase this in coming decades. We are shifting from oil based economy to gas based economy by importing natural gas from US and Canada and exporting the crude oil to them. And it clearly depicts in decrease in emission per capita and carbon intensity. Mexico was the seventh largest producer of crude oil as of 2007. However, the share of crude oil has steadily declined since 2005. This is because of increasing share of natural gas in total energy mix. This shows our concern towards climate change issue because NG is less polluted as compared to oil and coal. Uh, hi friends, in continuation to Mexico, uh, which was elaborated by my group member Ravi, uh, I'll discuss about the energy intensity of the economy. So if we see uh, the energy intensity of the economy has gradually, uh, first it has gradually decreased, but uh, in the last five years it has decreased significantly from 85 to 78. This is primarily because of a shift in economy from manufacturing base to more towards services and export. In fact, 90% uh, of the export of the Mexican economy is under free trade agreement and, uh, and this trade is with more than 40 countries in, including countries in USA, Asia and uh, other Middle East countries. Now if we see the carbon intensity of energy mix, so carbon intensity first increase, uh, uh, three years have been shown here, 2000, 2010 and 2015. Between 2000 and 2010, the, uh, you see, if you see in the slide, uh, the carbon intensity of the energy mix has first increased. Uh, then it has decreased since 2010 when uh, the concern towards the climate change became more uh, aggressive in Mexico. And uh, that's why, uh, as it was highlighted by my uh, group member, Ravi, that um, the share of the import of uh, oil, uh, natural gas has increased. And uh, this is because uh, the energy production is more by means of uh, natural gas in Mexico. Because natural gas, as we know, is a cleaner source of energy compared to oil and coal. And uh, now uh, if we talk about the climate issues which has been discussed by Mexico, Mexico has been very uh, aggressive in terms of uh, dealing with climate issues. So uh, if I s show you uh, this slide, so we see that uh, um, Mexico adopted what is called general law on climate change in 2012. Um, following uh, were the targets which were um, highlighted under this and uh, these are in fact quantified targets. These are three point targets. Uh, the targets are minimum 35 percent of electricity would be from clean energy source by 2024, reducing emissions by 30 percent by the year 2000, 
2020 and 50 percent reduction in emission by 2050 and this is uh, with reference to the base year uh, 2000. And the third very uh, important point uh, in term in, in order to meet the climate change issues, uh, by 2030 Mexico will reduce total greenhouse gas emission by 22 percent and will reduce its uh, carbon emission by 51 percent compared with the 2000 baseline. So, this is uh, this was all about Mexico. Thank you.